in the previous uh, class we have discussed about uh, uh, different kinds of uh, topics here to fill the table column and to see the packet here and to answer these questions here and uh, next time in this class here we need to see whether these are actually present in our food materials or not that means here you will be eating uh, a packet for example any chips packet understood any chips packet you are is uh, eating that and that chips packet will be having a label uh, back side whether that food components will be present uh, in it or not how to prove understood always uh, science will be uh, seeing the message on how to prove only whether it is present or not so what is that to uh, see for example we need to do one experiment here first experiment in your 7th uh, class it is about a uh, uh, test of or test for starch this is the first experiment in your 7th class and what is that here can you see here the picture you are uh, finding these two persons are uh, uh, doing some experiment what is that experiment here they brought a uh, potato here one potato they have brought and what they have done here they have cut the potato into half and after that that potato they have taken that potato they have uh, made into cut so two pieces of potato have been made like this and after making that uh, two potato slices what they understood that means the potato is cut into two pieces after that they bought a solution known as a iodine this is known as iodine for example iodine solution and from that solution here they have taken little with the help of dropper droppers will be the ink droppers and then they added that uh, iodine solution to the cut potatoes and uh, after some time they observed that white color potato turned into purple color white color potato turned into purple color so this purple color indicates that potato consists of starch how can be this known that means this is known by this small experimenter so we can do with the different techniques also what is that here potato pieces you can cut and add in a mixer grinder that means here i am drawing add in a mixer grinder here potato you need to cut and add in a mixer grinder after that we will be eating some juice with the help of tea decanter will be available at our home tea tea will be filtered no so with that the tea decanter here we need to add this contents there and filter and after that we will be waiting water here let that water settle for some time after some time what will happen that this white color formation will be there under the water that sedimentation will remove this water and take this white color part that white color part you just turn into here you can see uh, children are man making this sample here in a plate can you see in a plate they have taken so that white color part you just add here and add a drop by drop of iodine solution and after adding this iodine solution that will uh, uh, make into purple color so when the potato juice or powder coming into purple color means it is known as starch that means starch is present carbohydrates are present in that food material you can test that with anything if next time you visit uh, any medical shop you need to purchase iodine solution so iodine solution whenever you are adding for any food component any food it is curry or rice anything when it turns into purple color violet color then it has carbohydrates so we can eat that food happily carbohydrates are present understood so what are the requirements needed here potato cutter or a knife and a plate here the plate and iodine solution bottle and a dropper and tea decanter to filter that and a beaker and a plate like all this so these are the things for test for the presence of starch understood and uh, we shall go to the next topic here test for presence of fats test for presence of fats is the topic so what does this topic will say here how to test whether oil is present in the food or not very simple here you need to get one coconut coconut usually will be used now so coconut you need to break and break it out 
cut into pieces. Let it dry under sunlight. After drying sunlight for 10 days or dried coconut also you can get from the market. After that, make in a mixer, a mixer grinder here. Grind them all. Understood? That means the pieces of coconut. Coconut pieces you need to grind in a mixer grinder. And after the grinding in a mixer grinder, you will be getting powder. That powder, you just take one A4 size paper and throw that powder in that A4 size paper. After that, you roll back this. After rolling back, you just go on pressing that. That means here, you will be having like this paper and inside that powder will. You go on pressing that. After pressing or during pressing, uh, the paper will turn into oil. That means this is the presence of fats. Test is there like this, you need to write in your exam like that only. Understood? If you know another process also, you can write, but you must indicate this. Why? Because this is given as a text rule example. You need to indicate this as an important thing. And the next one, test for the presence of proteins here. Next uh, test is there here, you can see in the page, you can see here. Test for the proteins here. So, test for the proteins, this person, what he is doing here, he, he has brought a uh, uh, 2% copper sulfate solution copper sulfate solution he is prepared and a 10 percent sodium hydroxide solution so two reagents he brought and then next he made two percent copper solution uh, and dissolved two grams of sodium sulfate in 100 ml of water disposable glass have you seen so that much uh, uh, in the disposable glass half of the glass he prepared this solution he added 2% uh, copper sulfate and 10% uh, sodium hydroxide into the beaker here. And after that, he has taken 10% of the liquid of this total. And uh, he made 10% uh, of sodium hydroxide solution and dissolved 10 grams of sodium hydroxide in 100 ml of water. And after that, what happened? 1 gram of sodium hydroxide equals to 6 pellets of sodium hydroxide. Then, if the substances you wish to test is a solid, grind it in the powder. That means, in test for uh, proteins here, if uh, we are making a solid, for example, dal is there, dal, so we need to grind it into powder. Understood? And after that, little water we need to add to make it as a paste, so that the solution will dissolve. And next, uh, what is the solution he prepared here? This preparation of 2% of copper and 10% of sodium hydroxide solution he prepared. This solution he need to add for a dal paste, any dal paste. Understood. And after that, a change will be seen. So, it will change into blue color. If blue color is seen, means in that if this solution is added to any food material and that food material is changing into blue color, then it consists of proteins. Definitely it consists of proteins. Then next one here, you will be having testing of elements. Let I this out. Testing of elements, this table column is para. Understood? Testing of food elements here. What is there here? You have five food materials here rice, potato, starch, like this. Understood? You can see completely here uh, rice, rice, potato, milk, curd, egg. So these are the parts are there and uh, food materials are there in rice starch is present means yes present proteins are present means no fats are present means no in potato starch is present means yes proteins no fats no in milk starch is present means yes next to proteins yes fats yes in curd yes starch is present proteins are present fats are present and next in egg, starch is not present. And then next one here, proteins are present, and fats are also present. So this is the table of column which is important. And this is all for today, and we will meet in the next coming class. Have a good day ahead.